Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Cohen and I'm a search engine optimization expert. In this video we're going to be demonstrating a new piece of software that I have created called the SharePro uh, SEO software and it's a variety of features. In fact we're going to be using a domain specifically uh, set up to demonstrate uh, how fast it can index your website inside of Google, MSN, Yahoo, etc. First what I want you to do is pay attention to what you see on the screen an additional website of mine called verifiedfile.com and this will sort of give you an idea an explanation of the software you'll notice that these types of websites it's this specific website is called worth.im and it's basically a website that extracts from Google MSN Yahoo Alexa Dimas uh, all of the uh, backlink activity, in other words, here in Yahoo, we have 35,000 backlinks. By extracting this information, in other words, using this website to extract this information, basically it's going to the scalable cache of Google and it's causing SERP activity. Uh, in other words, telling Google that, hey, we want to get this information about uh, this website, verifiedfile.com and by contacting thousands of websites and basically by forcing these third-party websites to contact Google, MSN, Yahoo, Alexa, etc. basically this is what's really really increasing the SERP activity. This can do a, this has a variety of uh, repercussions and for the first and foremost it can get your website indexed inside of uh, Google, MSN, Yahoo in as little as one hour. In addition to that, there uh, you'll notice up here, if you're familiar with social bookmarking, you'll notice up here the title tag of my website and uh, keywords that are relative to my online activity, etc., etc., and of course the descriptive text. Now, you'll notice that Worth IM, IM uh, is basically displaying this information relative to my website. So when Google comes and they spiders this website, they're gathering all this information, which increases again the SERPs. Now you see down here you got the GoDaddy information, which includes additional information about my domain. So uh, again, there's a we've got thousands of authority websites. Let's take aboutus.org, and basically you again you have all of this uh, this information that's uh, sort of relative to the to, to the uh, to the website now you have this uh, uh, the who is information if you go down here you've got tags and so forth and uh, in fact if you double click here it actually goes to my website in other words there's a backlink relationship with uh, these authority websites so that's very very important uh, when uh, when uh, using to, to understand when using the software. Now again, I want to take you over to Google.com real fast to demonstrate to you that the domain 19t.org cannot be found anywhere. As you can see, 19t.org and there's nothing here. In fact, we're going to just so that you know you know that uh, it's for it's for real. I'm going to take you to Google CEO, let's say UK, which is the UK. And uh, let's go to 19t.org. This will demonstrate around the world. Um, let's see, Google IT happens to be Italy. And uh, Italia, let's see, 19t.org. And again, basically what I want to demonstrate is that Demi.com actually, own, I, I own this website, Demi.com. It mentions 19t.org, but it does not, uh, you won't see anywhere here, uh, 19t.org in the URL area. And let me just show you what 19t.org uh, looks like. I happen to own 17q.com as well, just so I mentioned. It actually looks very similar to uh, 17q. Here's 17q.org, but 17q.com as well I own. This is, uh, it's forwarded to this domain. And basically what I'm going to be demonstrating within the software is 
using uh, these, you got hundreds of, uh, or actually thousands of third party websites, authority websites that will be forcing the SERP activity. And at the end of the process of actually uh, going through the, this huge list, what will happen is each and every one of these will be pinged uh, to increase again the SERP activity. So it's not enough that we're using these third-party websites to index that to have them index uh, my website 19t.org, but we're also going to be pinging each one of these third-party websites to increase uh, the SERP activity. And as you can see here inside of the options, enable ping. Now we have uh, concurrent submissions. This is basically multiple thread activity. You have two options. One is default. The other one is browser. If you were to hit default, it will run extremely fast. But for the purpose of uh, demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this and I'm going to make it up three. In a second, I'll demonstrate that. If you were to hit add, you could actually follow the instructions here and add additional websites to uh, index or to ping, ping services. Uh, you can import. You can remove and clear and so forth. Uh, this, these are all basically very self-explanatory. Uh, again, if you wanted to add additional websites, you could uh, add as many as you'd like and uh, remove, of course, and you can import a full list of uh, websites if you'd like. Uh, following that, you have the option of clearing all the information that's here. If you need some additional help, you can click here. And, uh, and if you hit SEO help, that'll actually take you to my website, verifiedfile.com, or alternatively, you can contact me at sharepro at gmail.com. And finally, uh, we have the submit option. Again, for the purpose of uh, demonstration, we're going to start with a browser. And uh, I, again, as doing so, what you'll see is three little browsers that have opened up. And you can concurrently have as many as you'd like going on here. Don't worry if you don't see any information here. Some websites, uh, now if you ever get this message, which happens to, uh, you know, uh, periodically if you're using the browser, specifically because of Java mistakes in the coding websites, uh, basically you just click continue. And again, don't worry about it uh, if you see any, uh, as you can see, 19t.org, um, extracting information and so forth. But if you get no, no page, this is like social bookmarking. Now some of these websites are extracting information from uh, as far as uh, China. Now what I strongly suggest to make it go really, really fast, in fact, uh, you can click abort here. We're going to stop this. And I'm going to do it the real simple way. I'm going to hit default. I'm going to hit, let's say, 10 concurrent submit, uh, submissions, in other words, 10 individual threads, and I'm going to click Submit. And you can see how fast that goes. So it works really, really fast if you don't open up the windows. The only reason I've opened up the windows is so to give you an idea of what's happening in the background. But hopefully within the hour, I will I'm going to stop the video now, and I hopefully will be able to demonstrate within the hour uh, the uh, the website actually being uh, appearing inside of Google as again I, I would just want to demonstrate that inside of google.com you will not see 19t.org anywhere hello again everybody I'm back in the saddle it's uh, about 8 30 uh, in the evening on uh, January 24th basically again we're going to be demonstrating 19t.org uh, see where we're at and as you can see here on Google first page uh, 19t.org it does appear it has been indexed and uh, down below you can see all of the third-party websites even given a little bit of value uh, that have uh, authority websites that have spidered indexed uh, forced the SERPs relative to uh, 19t.org in fact we're also going to run over to google.couk see if uh, we appear anywhere and as you can see here, Google uh, has, uh, appears in the UK. In fact, we're going to take it to google.it, uh, which is Google Italy. And we're going to say, see if uh, Google, and you'll see 19t.org. In fact, we're going to just, uh, we're going to go back to google.com. And uh, we're just going to type in 19t without anything else. And there you see it on the first page.